Alright, so I have created a build for the thief that is absolutely disgusting. You can see in the background gameplay right now that I absolutely shred a dragon with ease. I don't even actually get hit um, because of a certain skill that I'll be showing you later on. Now, I'm going to put a bunch of gameplay throughout this video. You can see how quickly you can absolutely destroy pretty much any boss, any creature in this entire game. And uh, the great thing is, like I said before, you don't even get hit. Your character will automatically dodge every single attack, no matter what attack it is. And yeah, it's pretty much just broken as hell. All right, so let's go over my character and what I'm using. The Divine Raises are the weapon. I'm using the Howling Hood, the Rampart Breaker, the Thieves Gators, the Lupine Cape. And I'm also using the Ring of Exaltation and also the Ring of Momentum. Now this stuff isn't 100% necessary for you to do this build with, but the weapon is pretty damn good. Now I actually got this in Bakhtal, um, in one of the vendors over there. Now obviously weapons don't exactly do anything for you. The better the weapon, the higher the damage, the better that you can get. So you don't exactly have to get the same weapons as I do, but I'll be showing you exactly where I got it from anyway. Let's have a look at the weapon skills that I will be using for this build. First off is the Cutting Wind. This is a great starter skill that you could go ahead and use. It's a very, very fast attack, and it's a great way of actually moving around battles or even the map. It's a great skill to run with. Next up is the Ignited Blade. Now, this one is one of the best skills that you can actually run on the Thief itself. There's a different version that I will be showing you right now. So the Blade of the Pyre is a uh, final skill that you can go ahead and get for the Thief himself. The Blade of Pyre is basically just like the Ignited Blade, but instead it's a huge explosion and it also sets yourself on fire for more damage output. So you're getting a negative but also a positive, so go ahead and use this one if you feel the need to get even more damage output, but be careful because you could die a little bit easier. Next up is the Skull Splitter. This is by far the best perk for this entire build. This thing does absolutely ridiculous damage to the point where you can pretty much kill any creature without even going for its critical spots. Just go ahead, spin around and watch the health bar drop. It is probably my favorite moveset in the entire game for the Thief. Now another great choice if you did want to go for it is the Power Blast. The um, better version of this is actually pretty damn good. You can climb on any creature, leave a bomb behind, jump off, and let it explode. It does a bunch of damage, but I haven't used it too much. And my most favorite perk and skill in this entire game that I have used so far is the Formless Feints. This one, basically, once you use it, you automatically dodge every attack in this entire game. You iframe every moveset, no matter what it is, if it's a dragon stomp or fire, if it's a grab, if it's a anything. You will automatically dodge it. You don't have to press anything. And yes, you also take zero damage. Nothing will hurt you as long as you have some stamina. Now, obviously, for the core skills, you want all of them equipped. It doesn't matter. And for the augmentations, I have pretty much every single one acquired except for this one, which I will go ahead and put on. Now, for my pawn, I don't really have anything special going on here. I haven't really bothered with my pawn too much. I've been focusing on my character. Um, I don't even have any good weapons or armor for my pawn. Now, as you can see, my vocation rank is maxed out on my thief, as probably a lot of you guys as well, depending on the vocation that you are going to be using. I also unlocked the trickster today, which I don't even know exactly what it is. But anyway, the thief is an absolute menace when it comes to damage outputs. So how exactly do we use the build? In what order of skills? Well, this is how I do it. First off, I'll use, for example, Blades of the Pyre. And then I'll go ahead and use Nameless Feints. And from here, I'll just start spinning against bosses, for example, if I was going to destroy a boss. It will that, or I just go ahead and just slice every enemy in my way. Just like that. That's exactly what I do. And uh, yeah, pretty much you can just 
kill anything with ease. You can kill any boss with ease. It doesn't matter what you're facing. So go ahead and give this build a try if you are going to be playing the Thief. It is absolutely ridiculous to what you can do to bosses and pretty much any enemy considering that you can kill anything instantly and take no damage. It's definitely a top tier build. So if you want my exact weapons that I'm using, basically from Vernworth and if you do all the main campaign, um, you'll get a, sometime later, you'll get a quest to go to Bark Batal. Now, this one is kind of later on in the game, but anyway, there is a vendor right in here that will give you the swords that I'm using. So in order to get Blades of the Pyre and the Formless Faints, it's actually in the same quest in the same area. So what you want to do is be on this quest line here called the Nameless Faint, uh, the Nameless Village. Now, in order to get this one is continue the storyline with Brant, that one in Venworth. That is the main quest line. You will be able to get this, just continue with it and you will get this quest. Now, um, once you actually do get the quest, it's going to tell you to find the Nameless Village. And it's right here next to v uh, Venworth anyway. Um, so just take the routes. You'll be able to find it's going to be located on the map anyway for you. And at the very top, you're going to find the manor, okay? All the way at the top is the manor. The game will show you exactly where this is. It is the main point of the quest. And then you're going to talk to this guy. He will give you, after talking to him, the scroll to find the, or to learn the um, Blades of the Pyre. Now, how do you get the Formless Faint? Well, come out of the, um, the building and go right over here. There should be like a little hole um, with a ladder going down it right over there. Go down it. Now down here is basically going to be like this trial that you have to do. It shouldn't be too difficult at all. And uh, basically just do it. I'll be doing it right now. Now, once completed with the trial, you will meet this guy right here named Srail. He will give you the scroll to learn the formless faints. There we go. Once you have gotten this scroll, you can go into your items and find that scroll, just like I will do right now. And go ahead and use it, and then you will get the Formless Faint. Alright, and that's pretty much it for this build and this video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I really hope this build comes in use for your playthrough, and I'll see you all very soon.